There's been a lot of ideas thrown around lately in regards to answering questions about gun violence in America. And most of them are really terrible ideas. Most of them have to do with punishing people like you and me, people that just simply are, uh, have a safe with some guns in it. And when we go out in the world, we carry our guns responsibly um, and safely and professionally, yet uh, oftentimes we're the targets <laughs> for some reason they say well then now you're the problem now many things have come out as ideas and, and there are some good ones as well but there was this kind of this effort to rewrite the Second Amendment but uh, there was a film producer Michael Moore who came out with a 28th Amendment that kind of completely ratifies and eliminates the Second Amendment and I, I really debated on discussing this at all, to be quite honest, in a video. But I decided to go ahead and discuss it because I believe that between 40 and 60 percent of Americans, so in other words, around 50, maybe more, maybe less, believe what, what is written here. They think this is good stuff. This is a good idea, but they don't see the danger that is written within. And, uh, so I just want to, I'm not going to read it to you, you're welcome to Google it, I'm just going to talk about the points. Um, number one, gun registration. Okay, well, you know, uh, there's a way that they find out who has guns and how they take away their guns, and that's through gun registration. All right. Uh, license for need only, and that's, that's only hunting and sporting purposes only. You can't get a license for concealed carry, you can't get a license for self-defense, you can't it's just hunting and sh uh, sports shooting only except for the few that demonstrate a need for personal defense my guess is he's including himself I, I think he wrote that because he thought well except for people like me um, approval from family members spouses and ex-spouses and you can imagine how well that might go uh, take a class pass a test uh, 25 minimum age, uh, no auto or semi-auto at all. And so every single firearm out in America that is a semi-auto uh, or an auto, and of course we can't own auto already, uh, but there are a few exceptions out there uh, for, you know, obviously legal reasons and licensing reasons, but the semi-auto, obviously, I'd say probably about 99.999% of gun owners have semi-automatic weapons of some sort. So those will be gone. Six round maximum capacity. Any gun that will accept less, uh, more than six rounds, uh, gone. Congress shall regulate ammo. <laughs> and you can, now, we already see what they're doing. I mean, I spent all last week trying to point out them loading up on millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions, and millions of rounds of hollow point ammo. Um, you can imagine how well that would go for them regulating our ammo. Um, police will be dismissed and lose all firearm rights if they're deemed uh, unworthy or say things on social media they don't like. Um, and then once all this is put into effect, you have one month to turn in all your firearms. So there you go. That's what I believe 40 to 60% of America kind of applauds that sort of idea and really deep down wishes somebody would do that. Uh, will this happen? No, no. That's why I even again debated on even bringing it up. I don't think, I think the problem is the fact that close to, if not more than, 50% of America likes this idea, and uh, we can maybe see how the potential next two to ten years might go under those circumstances. Love to hear any thoughts on that. Put in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel with Patreon, that link is also below. The most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.